How would you like to go to Africa with me? I've been to many places in Africa, Zambia, Nigeria, South Africa, Uganda, Ethiopia, Ghana, a couple other places. Uh, last time I was in Africa, I was presented this shirt from the people that I was working with. So I'm wearing it today in honor of them. Uh, we don't go to Africa every year because we have some partners in Africa that we really invest in and uh, they do a fabulous job. And I just wanted to uh, introduce some of them to you today. Uh, this couple that I am now showing you that are holding this banner says, thank you from AFLA. Uh, this is Barbara and her husband, Pastor Edward Mwansa. And they lead an organization called Association for Life in Africa. And among all the people I know in this whole world, uh, this is one couple that I admire uh, in my top 10 list. I have known these people uh, for, uh, I'm thinking close to 25 years. Uh, Barbara and Edward Mwansa. Uh, this next slide here shows their current team. Uh, Barbara and Edward are the second from the left here. Uh, one of the people that we support in Africa is also uh, the brother on the far right, Nisa. Uh, but anyway, they teach the four questions all over Africa and they start pregnancy centers all over Africa. And so whatever we do, any work in Africa, we try to do it in a locked arm uh, uh, partnership with AFLA so that whatever is started in Africa connects to, uh, to this group of people who we admire greatly. Uh, Barbara, I met Barbara over 20 years ago, as I said. This is a picture of Barbara uh, from 20 years ago or so with her uh, young daughter at the time. Uh, I met Barbara at a Heartbeat International conference. Now, Heartbeat International, again, is an organization that trains people on pregnancy crisis intervention. Uh, I went to this conference, met Barbara there, met her husband, Edward. We became fast friends. We began to support the work that they were doing at that time in Zambia. In this next picture here is a picture of me in Zambia visiting one of the first pregnancy help clinics ever started in Zambia and in all of Africa, actually. And uh, this was probably about 15 years ago that I went there to visit them in Zambia. I went there because I wanted to see uh, a, a mother's home. We had raised about $20,000 to build a, a home for pregnant mothers. So I went there to see when it was almost finished and to take some pictures and to report back to some of the people who had given that money. So in this next picture, we have a young one of the young mothers that was staying at this home. And you have a picture there of the home itself from the outside and from the inside. Uh, it was just wonderful to be there on site and to see what where generosity meets need, which produces a good work, which leads to babies being saved and lives being transformed. And uh, this is one of the young mothers I had a chance to talk to and hear her story about how she had been rescued out of some very, very serious situations uh, with drug addiction and sex trafficking. And in many ways, it was the baby that saved this mother. Uh, by having the baby, she needed help. And the help that she got led to her baby living and her, this young mother's life being transformed. What I love about these people in Zambia at, at, uh, uh, is that they not only help the mothers through that birth process, but in this next picture, you'll see that I'm sitting with some of these young mothers who are preparing the meal. They are uh, cooking up some vegetables that they themselves grew uh, as part of their time at the mother's home. And then the next picture, you'll see me uh, standing with this little pig uh, because what they do is they teach these young mothers how to uh, raise pigs and sell them. They also teach them how to raise chickens, either for meat or for the eggs and be able to sell the eggs. In other words, they're trying to help these mothers have a way to go back to their villages, wherever they live, and have a way to provide for themselves and the baby. So in that sense, it's very holistic and life-changing. Uh, this is one of my favorite pictures here in Africa. They're all dressed in these yellow shirts here. 
And I don't know if you can read it, but it says four questions Malawi. So the AFA team is getting all, all ready to go on this trip to Malawi where they're going to be teaching pastors all over Malawi in our basic four questions training uh, that allow and encourage and inspire people to start to rescue the innocent and do it in a life-changing way. And so why would I spend a lot of your donations going back and forth to Africa when I can partner with some people in Africa to teach these four questions and then directly connect them to an all-African uh, organization that's helping nurture the development of pregnancy crisis uh, clinics all over Africa? I do believe that now the Association for Life in Africa has several hundred pregnancy help centers that they have uh, uh, started by hosting training events in different countries. And a couple of times I've gone to their Pan-Africa conference to help do that training and to see many, many more African Christians reaching out to save the lives of people in Africa. On my last trip to Africa, you'll see here I'm holding the handheld ultrasound. We took eight ultrasound machines with us to Uganda uh, last in December of 22. And uh, here I am showing it to several of the, of the team there uh, and helping them recognize why it works so effectively. Uh, it's easy to carry. It can go to remote places. It doesn't need to find an internet connection because it's got one built into the, to the unit. It's got a Wi-Fi unit. And uh, in this next slide here, you're going to notice uh, that Nisa, our dear brother and partner there, is presenting a handheld ultrasound and an iPad to uh, one of the medical people there. I'm not sure what country this is in right now because they've been traveling uh, all over Africa doing this work. And so, you know, it's just one of those things that I want you as as partners with us at Passion Life to know that sometimes we're the lead people, we're the point of the spear going into places like China or Cuba or Vietnam and whatever. But in some parts of the world, it really makes more sense for us to come along and partner with those who are the point of the spear. That's a good stewardship principle. It's a good kingdom principle. And uh, I just want you to know that if you have, uh, again, if you have any year-end giving to do, uh, we are so uh, excited to be able to partner in Africa with the Association for Life there in Africa, Edward and Barbara Mwansa. We plan to be in Africa in 2024. We plan to uh, bring more ultrasounds there if we have uh, the right places to put them. Uh, which I expect we will. And uh, it costs about $6,000 to place these machines and, and equip the, the local medical staff. Um, so whether you're $50 a month or $100 a month or whether you want to underwrite a trip to Africa, these are all things that you can do if you say, I want to be a part of bringing the gospel life to the greatest places on earth and to know with confidence that we have people in those areas that we're just so proud of uh, to be uh, in partner with. And Edward and Barbara Mwanza, again, they thank you. They thank us all the time, and I want to extend their thanks to us. Uh, I want to extend it now to you and encourage you that you cannot pray too often for the friends we have in Africa and if you want to make a dent for life in Africa, we can show you how to do that. Um, it's going to be a great year coming up in 2024, especially when we have partners like Edward and Barbara Mwansa and Afla. Thank you.